All right, and welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. And if you hear noise, it's dug outside, and we'll go out there in a minute. What I've got here now is I've got the front fenders on the Plymouth. I've got them setting here. I've got, they both need repair, um, and I'm, and I'm going to repair them in front of your very eyes. On this one, I've already laid the patch on the outside, and I've welded it on there. Um, it's not complete by no means, but I'm going to show you on this one exactly what I did on this one. On this one here, in, in my opinion, um, I made a square piece um, to replace what was there that I did not like. Um, when it came to the, the patch that I made, I made it square there in the corner. And I should not do that. I, sh I should practice not doing that. And the reason being is sometimes when you weld across there and you weld this way here, it buckles things. And there's, and there's generally no way to stop it sometimes. Um, so on this one here, I'm going to change it up and I'm going to round that corner instead of making it square. It does make a difference, believe me. Um, and I'm just going to practice that on the other one. On this one here, you can see it's, it's a one piece and a, and a bent for the bottom. On this side here, is, what I suggest is making a little piece and then welding it to the panel. When you start trying to make bends 90s and have it in shape sometimes it's it's hard to get it to fit takes time it works harder um, it's harder to do so sometimes it's nice just to make that one piece and then add a piece to it if we come over to this side this is the other fender I'm going to repair right now in front of your very eyes you can see the the inside construction you can see that it has an outside construction nailed to the inside construction all the way up to the bottom um, I'm thinking that this is a factory uh, hold down right here. Um, we're going to try to replace that, but we've got the bottom of the fender to replace right at the present moment. The inside construction looks really good, so I do not want to cut that. What? Do not want to cut that? Not really. Um, and I'm going to fix it. Let's do it, and then we'll carry on to the other side. We'll get done as much as we can get done with the time that we have. I'm going to change, turn this around. And that's all I would expect anybody to do. Get done as much as you can in the amount of time you have. On this edge here, it's kicked out here a little bit. You can see that, but that is a factory edge going on there. Let's make a piece for it. I see that we're sometimes, sometimes, and a lot of the times, um, when you make a piece, you do not get the full effect of, or you do not get the full piece that you need. Sometimes you burn through a little bit. Um, on this one here, I can see that she's tucked down there a little bit. She kind of you know, it sucked it in a little bit where the patch was made on. Uh, it bring it in a little bit, so that's fine. We've got a patch here. We've got a patch here. It's busted through. We've got a simple matter, though. Straight down and then a bend off. Seems good to me. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be bent there or not, but we're going to go for it. Let's get a piece of metal and make our piece and then tack it in. I'm going to keep my gloves on because I feel warm. Jolene this morning woke up at 7.30 looking like a 10. Got me coffee in bed. God bless her. Love her, lo love her lots. And uh, if you have a partner, you should do that for them too once in a while. Why, why not? Um, I just want, I just want to get, get the right piece of metal for the right job. That's the right piece of metal for the right job. I'm going to shear that um, cut edge off there a little bit, make it nice and smooth right. We've got it lots long, so let's just go over here and cut it off. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia today. I want to thank everybody for coming back. Appreciate it. I want to thank everybody for buying the gear. Jolene did a uh, little, I don't know, commercial there, sort of. Everything went, went awesome. Everybody bought lots of gear. Got to, got to like it. Got to appreciate it. And that we do. Good and heavy this morning, I am just chop, chop. See how much we need here. I'm gonna do a little bend on this end for that one there. Just got a little end that's, it's got a little break in it. We'll just take and get my trusty marker here. And it's best probably to do a little bit longer than they have. We got a little bit longer there. And the reason being a little bit long, if it's, if it's short, it looks bad. If it's long, I've got something to sand off. That makes sense. Sure it does. 
sure it does. It didn't have much of a bend there. Probably needs a little bit more. Hard to tell sometimes. Need a bend or need a need a hand dug? Nope, I'll be fine. I'll be on my own, but you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel to be on your own now, dog? At your age, how does it feel <laughs> to be on your own? I feel young again. <laughs> <laughs> That shape there, I can bend that on my knee. I do not need, I do not need to roll or a roller or anything like that. We should be able to just bend that on our knee to get what we want, and uh, that's what we should do. Um, there's something in my pocket. Tired there. I want to shove this actually. It's hard to bend when I got a, 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 a when I broke the edge right here. It's hard to bend to get something round right in that tight. So I'm just going to shove it in our trusty little metal. I'm not sure I want to shove it in. But. And then I can just give it a little bit of shape. That's all. Just need it just a little tiny bit. I just want it to fit the fender good. See, that's a little bit long. We want that down there. I'm going to get some C-clamps. Clamp it on there. Doug's in the house this morning. Um, I've got an Esso sign that I got on a trade from a, uh, a 39 Chevy that we sold. We got the Esso sign on a trade. Uh, the ceilings in the building are 14 feet high. And uh, some of these signs that we have, I want to use them as decor in our, in our big shop. So right now, at the present moment, I have Doug cutting one of the poles in half. And yesterday, we struggled to put this sign in this in this aluminum ring. We yes, we struggled. Me and Jolene and Doug, we struggled, but we, we got it done. And uh, that's what Doug's doing right now. He's just shortening the pole for me and uh, doing a good job. So right now I have um, a piece of metal. Have to figure out the height of what, what's going on here. Wish that would stay, but it's not. Do I want to go up that high? I don't think it's necessary. It's not necessary to go that high, I don't think, but we'll chop that much off. Let's chop that much off. Do not get overwhelmed with a fender like that. It's you know, it's not, not worth getting getting over overwhelmed with because it's just a simple matter, be, be honest with you. You're just kind of tracing and replacing. Tracing and replacing. So I'm going to um, lock this down. We'll lock it down here first. I want to get it on that. So like I said before, I am not going to worry about that edge because I'm going to add that edge to the piece of metal that we have after. That's why I'm going to want to do that. Tina the dog is doing amazing this morning. I 
want to bruise anything, just want, just want to apply it. You know, I don't want to bruise anything, just want to apply it. Now I'm just looking for this bottom to be straight. I haven't got all my tools yet this morning, I get a little hammer. I just want the bottom to be straight to start with. And the reason I want that bottom to be straight, because let's face it, we got new rockers on, on the car, we want that fender to run straight. Almost should be putting on the, the patcher panels on the car, but we have them all, we've got them stripped. That is not making me happy what's going on here right now. Stop. So, just gonna make sure that's straight. It's nice and straight to me. Do this. It's got a factory edge there, and then we lose some of the factory edge. When I cut this, I will be able to put that piece on after. Um, let's mark this. So I'm going to cut it. Made a boo boo already. Honey boo boo. Said I wasn't going to, wasn't going to do that, and I am not. Let's take that corner and round it off. Take a step off this. Just gonna round it off. Look at that. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Yeah, that went well. Well, okay, good. Taking, uh, Doug, if you will, to me, if you come back here and take a look at the top of those, yeah. can you so can you somehow like maybe just take the sander and and, I know. and try I to make them straight if you can? <laughs> That'd be perfect if you. Yeah. yeah well, if you just. That's what I was just supposed to do, man. Just don't get down, taking off too much. That's all. But you know, you, you know what I'm trying to tell you. Maybe make a new line all the way around the square or something. So I'm just going to round this edge off. I usually don't round off the corner on these repatch repair panel things going on what I got going on here I usually don't do it but I found on the last one it does make a difference um, when you're it does make a difference I'm just gonna I do not want that panel to warp Put that around there like so and I feel like why am I? There we go. Just going to make it a little smaller. Let's cut that piece out. I'm not going to cut this edge off. I'm going to leave it. The inside construction on this one's pretty good. Did I flip over and show that? Yes or no? Yes or no, I say. Let's, let's, let's do this. Show what it looks like, and then we'll cut it off. You can see as I put that panel on there, I've got a nice square piece going on there. When I put the panel on there, so that fender's running straight, you can see how narrow the panel is up here and how wide the panel is down here. It kind of changed it up a little bit, but I can't help that. You can see on the inside construction it looks it's pretty decent I mean there's a piece down here at the bottom that's got a pinholes in it but to for me to cut that inner construction it does not make sense to me and they got a little bit of something going on there no don't mind we're bent out there a little bit you can see that that's just a hammer trick straighten that out so we're gonna leave um, that the best we can yes we is that's pretty good there now um, let's cut it off I've got the line where I want it cut off and generally I would put that piece on 
and then cut around it and then butt weld it on. But where I have that inside construction and I have this piece in here, I cannot get, I cannot get this piece off unless I cut it off. So I'm going to cut it off and then apply my piece. I think that's the best way to do it and that's the way I am going to do it. So I'm, I've got my piece made and then I've traced it onto the fender. So that's all I'm going by is what I've, what I've got going on here. Work on a bench, they say. Work on a bench. It's so much better. Yeah. Yeah. I did not want to do that. Not paying attention to the bench. This, this edge is generally spot welded all the way along on the inside of that uh, inner construction. So we're just going to cut down the edge very finely and try to pull that bad boy off. construction mm. um, this is this is rotted at the end right here like it's got a big square going on here I don't like it I'm going to remove it and uh, I suggest you do the same if you're doing your fender. If you don't like it, remove it. So it's got a people cut pieces on there. I'm just going to remove it and replace it. Yeah, we've got a little bit of bronze action going on there. Let's knock that off a little bit. Sometimes this is where you do not get the perfect butt weld, and the reason being is I did not lay the piece on there and then cut it to fit the piece. I cut, I marked the piece, I took it off, and then I cut, well, obviously cut it. So some of the gaps might be a little bit more than you like, but uh, that's where I come in with a coat hanger. Get in there because I'll end up getting it weed whack. Looking for something to hold that up. That's the piece, what? 
Tim, am I allowed to touch it? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. I want to play with it. This is the piece that we cut out. This is the piece we're putting in. Now, I have the choice of cutting the line. I have the choice of cutting that line before I start, or I have the choice to put this on and then cut that off after, because I can see it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think I'm gonna cut it. And the reason being is I'll get it in there and get it fit in there. That way there I, I'm in the right spot when I, does not much matter. You can do it either either or way, that's for sure. You can see how I've got it fitting up here nice, but it still needs more bend down here if I want to make the panel fit. So well, that can be, still needs more bend. I think I'll put it on and then cut it. Why would I not? Makes it more, makes it easier, I think. And it's all up to you what you want to do. I mean, let's face it, there's more than one way. All the stuff that I do, um, you must face it. You must have an idea how you would do it. And uh, basically, that's, that's the part of doing this, this gig, is doing it the way you want to do it to make yourself happy. Now, I've got pretty good, pretty good fitment there now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it on. We'll cut it off with the zip cut after. And then I can sand it back and, and make it fit on perfectly. So let's get the welder going. Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. We really do. We've got something, well, we're thinking of doing something new to the channel. Not something drastic, just something new um, when uh, we start the, the next build. I'm, I'm not, we're not positively sure yet. But uh, we feel like we might we might sell the next or even the projects that we have. Some we had because to be honest with you, um, for for me to repair all these cars that I've built and to fix and put interiors and motors in it, it's like it's really overwhelming. I should almost you know decide or choose which one I want to invest in. But the next car that we come in, I'm hoping that we'll buy it you'll get to see the price of it i might be speaking too early on this i'm not sure but this is just what's going on we might buy the car so you can see what we paid for it we're going to repair it or do what we want to do to it so i can have some fun and then the car will be can be sold and and basically um, if you're a subscriber of this channel um, we would we're probably going to sell the car for what we paid for it and the labor. Not the labor, excuse me. Sell the car for what we paid for it and the material. So you'll end up getting the car with labor free. So um, just for instance, uh, the Dodge was 65. So if I sold the Dodge, I would want the material, the three sheets of metal that we put in it, uh, a couple tanks of gas, and some grinder discs, and then that would be the price of it. The, the, the labor will be, we're thinking, will be free because um, of the people that watch. We really enjoy that, that you're paying attention and watching, and uh, why not get you involved if you could own something that we're doing? So we might, probably, will, <laughs> I keep saying that, but we probably will end up, you gotta get, you gotta get it. There, there, there's, the, there's a fine example of what, what I'm talking about. I just, I just held that up there. I, I, you know, I held it up there. I wanted to tack it on and, and burnt a big hole through the, the original sheet metal. Got it tacked on there now. But that's not something that I, I enjoy when you make a piece and... Uh, it does not want to behave, or not behave, but you're not getting it all, I, I suppose I'm trying to say. Sometimes this part here can be a bit much, and the reason being is 
this fender has to go wants to, I want to get it to go straight you know what I mean I don't want it like this you know this can go in like this and this can go in like this then you've got a big spot here I want it out so it's straight and then uh, we'll see what we can do here to get it I don't know if that's going to do it or not let's get a big C clamp Uh, and I, th I, I think that would be fair for everybody, you know, um, to be able to, I think that would be, be, be fair. That's nice. Just going to tack it. Just going to tack it. You see that? No gas on. Burning holes in that fender. It's not what I wanted to do. I almost should have come over further. C clamps are nice. Keep it in place. And I feel like the car is that, you know, that could be up for sale. It could be a, a cheap way in the hobby for somebody, you know, to have something that's cheap way in the hobby. money. I love it. Am I going to burn myself? Hope not. <laughs> Made that boo-boo up there. Now I've got to... What have I got to do? screwdriver to pull that out, not flush right there, we're flush, right there, I'm going to nail it, we're flush, but we're not flush right there, I'm going to get a screwdriver and just pry that up a little bit, I don't want to get the zip cut in there, but I'm going to probably have to. Fits so nice. Fits so nice. See if I can get that up there. Try it one more time. Ah. Try it one more time. It's just stuck down inside there. Going to have to cut it. Go on and cut it. Don't want to, but I'm going.
not the cut I wanted to make, but I kind of chewed it out a bit much. But that's what I'm good at, so. Ba, 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 ba. Damn it. <laughs> Trying to make it the best I can, that's all. I guess that's part of this game is to try to make it fit the best you can. Quite tight. We're looking good there. Now, I had a level over here. I, I broke it. And I did have a level. I want to go get it again. Doug's inside the hole. I'm not sure, but. I have yeah, he's cleaning the right piece. That'd be something now. See the grinder go take off and he's hand inside that hole. Come see this, sweetheart. This is, this is what I want. Um, that's what I want. That looks good. Like the, the fender is actually, that's what I want. What I, was, what I was saying on this, when you're doing this sort of stuff, this fender, this where you weld this here, can tuck in. Sometimes that's good for, for filler and stuff like that, but that's a pretty good line going on there. I'm very happy with that. That makes me happy. So as I have that going there, I'm going to talk, tack the bottom. Uh, the reason I'm going to tack the bottom is because this is going right, and I don't want it to take off and go anywhere else. So I could adjust it because I'm not tacked on that bent arm, this bent piece here where it goes straight down. I could still pull that up if I wanted to because it's got a part here that's not connected. So once I connect this down here, we should be we should be in place. And I'm going to start on the heaviest metal, and that's my metal that I just. Hey. Back up together there. I'm missing it, but all right, I'm gonna flop it over. I'm gonna knock a little spot on here, because I can. Oh, my ground come off. Because I want to. Good. Now I got this edge to deal with. I'm gonna knock it on here so it's tight. Why would I not? Ooh, that moved. See that move? I'm not real happy. I say I'm not real happy, but it doesn't. That doesn't make me happy that that moved a little bit, but I'm hoping that's straight. If that got out of shape, you know what happens when I put the, the fender on, on the car and that does not fit or does not work, does not look good, it's because I did not make the panel on the car, but I am taking a chance right at the present moment. Cut this off. It seems like it's got a nice bent straight edge there. It seems to be fine. In all honesty, the car, pro the fender probably should be, after I tack it on there, in all honesty, the fender should be tried on the car. But I, but I probably won't. And I put a zip cut right here.
Excuse me. Cut this a little bit off. We got. Well, I know what we got. Yeah. I forget. I should have shaved. I should have shaved. I cut the edge off that, and uh, we'll see what happens here. But I might just weld that right along there. I'm not sure, but I sort of want to get that in there a little bit further. sand down the edge of it. This nice and tight and right, not hurting, not hurting nothing. Nice. That's got to be the most aggravating thing is when I take off and I go to weld and I'm all ready and I don't put the grind on. It's got to be the most aggravating thing ever. Start in the center on that. Work our way to the top. Don't want to bruise it, but I want it tight. Got a little hole right there, I'm gonna fix it. Generally, you get a little hole like that. <clears throat> Generally, the easiest way to fix it is to trigger your welder. And what I mean by trigger your welder is to just hit the trigger and go boom. It'll drop off a bit of bit of metal or wire. Just go boom real quick, drop the metal off, and that way there when you go back in, you got a little bit of material to work with. Hope that makes sense. We get that tight. Alrighty. Now we need a little piece running down the edge. You can see we got this all nailed along that edge. It's good and tight. We got that smoothed down. It's good to go there. We get that down just a little bit further right here. That's fine. Looks good.
I love it when the ground falls off. I love it. Not really. That going on. Oh, I, sometimes I would say a fender is probably one of the hardest things to work on, and the reason being is is to hold it. That's even going to hold it. It's going to fall anyways. You can see I'm up off there a little bit. I guess that would be the layer of the metal, but we should be fine. Let's make a piece and put on that. It seems if you want to be back a bit too, <clears throat> to go straight. Do this. Get a little piece of paper, piece of cardboard, and make a piece. Let's go and check on Doug for a second. Hey, you making it out, Doug? Good man. I'm checking out. Is that going to go inside that? I hope so. I cleaned it all out. Hopefully, it's going to. I never tried it yet, man. That's probably a bit heavy for you, isn't it? Just by yourself. I can try to slide that in by myself. That's no big deal. I mean, uh, that's no good. Well, I'm just seeing this fit in. Oh, yep, so that'll work. So what we're going to do is short, we're shortening it. This piece here is going inside that right down to the bottom, and then we'll weld it around there, and then we'll be in place. <clears throat> Job, Doug. If you want to just take um, the flapper wheel or anything, knock, just knock off what you can, and then I can sandblast the rest. It would be fantastic if you want to. It's up to you. <clears throat> So, get a piece of paper. Hate looking at anything in glasses. Got a piece right here. That's on it. So I've got one to go, one, one piece to put on here, you can see that I use that piece, now I'm gonna put a piece on that. The only thing I did a different on that one is I did this, and I did that one round. I think I enjoy the, the round thing going on. Um, I also want to see if that'll go in a bit. Just bend it in a little. without destroying it and making it all not in a good shape. So we got that shape, I can see it. Mark it for you. Then we're gonna make a piece or cut off there. Basically, I'm just gonna follow what they got. Let's make a piece. A pair of scissors, cut this out. Now, if I started trying to complicate it and bend that 90 over before I made that piece, it really, it does make it so hard. Like, um, in my, like, just in my opinion, um, if you're going to make a piece on the bottom of the fender, if you're going to make this piece, if you wanted to make the whole piece, maybe I should have, I'm not sure. Um, if you're going to make the whole fender, you'd want to make the face of it and then add the lip after. Like this, this lip that's got this shape around here, you might make this shape on the bottom because it's easy, it's, it's an easy bend, but you'd want to make the face of the pattern 
and then add that lip to it. Then you can make it, you can add it and do a nice job on it. And you can also add this lip over here. So if you're going to complicate it and try to make this lip over here, this lip over here, and this lip over here, it's, it's going to be a rough time for you um, to get it to make yourself happy. It's going to be a rough time. If you try to simplify it and do it one piece at a time, you really can do a nice job. Alrighty. I need my marker and I need a piece of metal. I have a piece of metal over here. That's why it's so hard to throw away a piece of metal. Because, in all honesty, look at that, I get to sit down. Jolene looks amazing today. Whoop, whoop, whoop. How much I'll get cut on this. We might want that for the other one too, so save that. Doug's part peacock. Doug's part peacock. Shape it with the grinder after. Just want to get the, the meat of it cut off, I guess. Yep, I can shave the rest of that. A pair of ice grips. Good. Um, look, they've like got a little factory, factory thing going on there. We'll go up here. Just cut that off just a little bit. Ah. Getting close. There we go. Do that. Put the ground up for me. I'm, I'm maxed out there. I'm maxed out. Let's take the fender, pull the fender back, I guess. Uh, turn it on. What do I want? My vice grips are hitting that piece, so I'm going to back this off a little bit. Right, there's what I want.
hard to believe. I would do that so many times. But it's, it's something to, to make you know that you're... Want a nice spot to tack that. Alrighty. We in place. It had a little factory gap going on there, and I'm keeping it. Now we can pound that down, make it right, can't we? Nice and tight. Just closing my eyes. Heat's coming up, should be fine. Nice and tight against this factory piece inside here, so. Why that one back so funny, but it's not really that funny, but You can see how I can make that look fantastic. I probably should have some air. Hoping that the heat's going up. Taking my glove, take some of the heat. Just gonna take this off for a second. Shape this piece. If I need any more than that off, I can sand that off. So basically now I just got to about weld that all the way along down that edge, do a nice edge. And this is what happens when you do that edge, if you do a nice job. Sand it flat this way. Sand it flat that way. And that's what I have. I have something with a nice crisp bend on it or it looks like a nice crisp bend on it uh, or it may not even look like it's been repaired if I weld it up nice but basically that's what I have to do is have to weld that all the way along there 
Okay, on the edge, and I'll, I'll buff it off of that, flat this way, flat this way, then the weld stays in the edge. On this part, we're just gonna keep butt welding that all the way up along there, taking our time, one spot at a time. We've got something that's straight. Just, just you know, you just wanna check that sort of stuff when you're doing it, you're right? You just wanna check it. And the reason being is if you get that fender, not feeling so good it's hard to you know bring it back around so I still have to obviously you can see, still see I have to cut this off here I am shaping this end here but I still have to cut this off a bunch don't have my marker on we still have to cut that off a bunch there going along there there where there the hole burnt through I'm gonna have to take my time and, and get some weld on that there's some good metal back there but when I hit that with a welder, it burnt right through. It's kind of a shame. That's what happens sometimes. But uh, I was just trying to fix the repair. So you can see what's going on there. So that's exactly what I did. And to me, I might have, I'm not sure. If you come take a look, you can see how um, that, that, this, this might be out a little bit. I hope it's not, but you see if I run that up there. See the gap in the center here a little bit? See, I run that up there, I got a little bit of a gap going on. I'm just hoping that I do not have the inside construction out too far, because it was free. But we got the same thing going on here, so. You see that little bit of gap going on there, on that straight line. But... Um, it's not most it's supposed to be straight from what I'm seeing if I'm looking at here if you want to come take a look at this The door has got a round shape to it So I should be safe. So what I'm saying is is this edge of this door is not straight. You can see I can rock that So it's got a gap up top gap at the bottom So that means that the door that's actually running right um, It's actually doing a good job because the door is not straight down the edge It's got this shape to it and that's why this fender has got this shape to it and that's why that fender there has got that shape to it. So we've got these pieces in. I just have to continue, continue welding them up. Um, I'm saying that it's okay because we have the bottom of the fender. I can't. I know that the bottom of the fender is there. I can't go any lower. We had the inside construction there. Can't go any, you know, higher. Or we can go lower, but we can't go any higher. So it's, it's a good educated guess to put a piece on. I generally do not like putting pieces on without having on the car, but with the inside construction there and the, some of the bottom of the fender there, I feel like it's okay. Where are we at? 58. All right, I want to thank everybody for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, we both appreciate it. Thanks for buying the Hilt Autoco gear. We appreciate it. Um, if you're making a piece like this, try to get the outside fitting good. Trace it off. Put your piece in, try to make sure it's good. All the extra pieces like this piece on this side, or if you have to, if you're making the whole bottom and this you need this piece here, don't worry about that until you have to get that this front piece on. So if I was making this bottom of this fender, I would have the bottom of the fender made. Oh, if I'm making the whole thing, I'd make it right up to here. I'd bend that little lip in it. I'd make it come all the way around. I'd make it do all this, maybe do the bottom bend, and I would add this lip after and I would add that lip after. If you get trying to make three bends on one piece of metal, I, I wish you luck, um, but you're gonna love me when you do it my way. All right, everybody, like, share, comment, come back, and we're gonna try to change things up soon a little bit, try to, see how it goes, and uh, I hope you like it. Have a great day, everybody.